Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and today we're going to look at normal distribution but we're going to use Excel. What we're going to find is the probability that our value of X falls in between two points on the curve. The average weight of an English Bulldog is known to be 50 pounds with a standard deviation of 3 pounds. We can assume that the weights are normally distributed. If a Bulldog is selected at random, what is the probability that it will weigh between 43.6 and 54.4 pounds. So based on the way the normal distribution function in Excel works is what we're going to end up doing is we're going to end up solving for the probability or for the area under the curve that falls below 54.4 pounds. And we know that that includes an area that we don't want. So we'll go ahead then and we'll solve for the area that is below 43.6 pounds. And then when we're done, we're going to subtract the two because what happens is that area below 43.6 pounds is double counted. When we subtract it out, it's simply going to leave us the area or the quantity of data between 43.6 and 54.4. So here I am in Excel. I'm going to use this insert function. And I'm up here in the search, I'm just going to type for search for normal and then say go. Now I need to scroll down and I'm looking for the normal distribution. N O R M dot D I S T. And I'm going to say Okay, and now I'm going to begin with my X of 54.4 pounds. We knew that the mean was 50 pounds, standard deviation was 3 pounds, and for the logic value, we want the cumulative distribution, and so we type in true, and we say okay. So now we know that the area to the left of 54.4 pounds is 0.9228. But we need to get rid of everything below 43.6. So now we're going to solve for 43.6. I'm going to put my cursor here. I'm going back to function. And you'll see that the most recently used norm dist is right there at the top. We don't have to search for it again. I'm simply going to say OK. It's going to give me my same dialog box. Only difference is this time, I'm going to put in my x value of 43.6. My mean of 50, my standard deviation of 3 remains. And this is also true because I want the cumulative distribution function. I'm going to say OK. So now I know the area or the quantity of data that falls to the left of 43.6 pounds is 0 0.0164. And remember that 43.6 Below that is what count counted twice. So I'm simply going to subtract the two. And I'm going to do it right here in Excel by simply saying equals this cell minus this cell, enter. And now I have 0.9123. So we're back over here at our curve. And what we found was that the probability or the area below 54.4 pounds was 0.9288. So this was 0.9288. But we wanted it to stop right here. So we found the area below the 43.6, and that was 0 0.0164. So this 0164 is included in 9288. So we're simply going to subtract that. We simply subtracted that out. And what that did was it reduced the area to 0.9123 or 91.23%. Hopefully, that makes um, good sense of that cumulative distribution function. As always, hoping that this helped, and thanks for watching.